Stayallday.com. Start this move with a step back dribble, creating a little bit of extra space, keeping my dribble alive. And what I'm going to do is go into a tight spin move where I'm not taking as big of a step when I, off the drop step of the spin, which means the drop step of the spin is basically what gets my momentum going towards the rim. But you see here, the drop step is a little bit shorter so that when I finish the spin move, I'm still in the mid-range area and I pull up for a jump shot. So this is a spin move jumper as opposed to a spin move getting into the rim for a layup or a closer in shot. I'm basically shooting the shot at about... 14 to 17 foot range off of the spin moves. It's just another way to use that spin. Besides going all the way to the rim, you can just go up for a jet. So if you like this drill, hit that thumbs up there. If you got something to say, let me know about it in the comments. Any other drills or moves you're looking for, check out the playlist on my channel. Everything is covered. Also, work on your game.net and hoophandbook.com. I'm going to start this move with a step back dribble here, create a little bit, bit of extra space for myself off the bounce while maintaining my dribble. And I'm going to go into a narrow spin move. If you watch the way that I do this spin, you see that I'm keeping it tight. The drop step that I do on that spin, the step that basically leads me to the rim, I'm keeping it very short so that when I finish the spin, I'm only at about 15 feet from the basket instead of being right at the rim and my momentum is stopped so I can raise straight up for a J instead of leaning in towards the rim. So it's just another option off the spin. If you like this drill, hit that thumbs up down there. If you got something to say, let me know about it in the comments. Check out my playlist. This is TZ from New York. Nike, swoosh all day. Work on your game.